Hi everybody, Mick here from Brand24. Today I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to use our system effectively. So the first thing we want to do is we want to log into the dashboard. So we're going to click here. Now we're presented with a list of all the projects that you've created. The first thing to notice is here on the left hand side, this number is the number of new mentions you've received since you last logged into Brand24. Okay, now that we're here, the next thing I want to do is show you inside one of my projects. So I'm going to choose Ryanair here as my example. They're an airline in Europe and they're a great brand for, for showing how mentions look. One of the first things we're presented with when we enter our project is our graph here. Our graph here shows two main statistics. It has the blue line, which shows us the number of mentions of the keyword that you're monitoring and the green line which shows you the amount of social media reach your keywords had on that day. So literally how many impressions they had. And here you can see that the graph goes day by day and at the top here we have uh, the function to change the amount of time that we want to monitor. So I'm going to keep it for the, na la uh, the next 30 days for this, uh, this example. In addition to those two main statistics, we're also able to add to our graph. Firstly, we can actually insert our interactions. So we will also show you the number of likes your keyword received, shares and comments on any time period as well. Secondary to that, we can also open our graph and show our sentiment analysis. Here we're going to show just how many positive and negative mentions were received on that day based on our sentiment algorithm. Our users find these statistics really, really valuable when they're trying to look how, how effective was one of their social media campaigns to see if it increased the awareness of their, their brand name and also to check for any kind of PR success or PR failure by using that, those sentiment numbers. So now you know how to see both the amount of mentions you've collected and their influence. Let's scroll down the dashboard and here's when you're going to be able to interact with the mentions directly. So here we list each and every mention of your keyword. Here you can see that each Brand24 mention has a various amount of options. The first and foremost being this button here which is Engage. If you click the Engage button, Brand24 takes you to the source of every mention. Not only on social but blogs, forums and news articles. Here you can then obviously have the opportunity to interact with it, reply, comment or like. When we return to the Brand24 dashboard, you'll notice that this icon has now appeared over the mention. This is a notification that you've actually clicked on that mention so that you can move on to the next one. Furthermore, with each mention we give you various other options. We have the option to click History, which would show you every previous mention you've collected from that specific author. You're able to group mentions by actually adding tags such as current customer, uh, news article, potential customer, so on. You're able to delete specific mentions and other options include uh, emailing that mention to a member of your team or to visit the author's profile directly. You may notice some other information on each mention such as the number of likes, comments and retweets and also the influence score. This is a number that we assign to each mention based on their level of influence, which is an algorithm based on number of followers, retweets, likes of their general content. So we try to really tell you who are the most influential people talking about your keywords. Now, those options are available for each and every mention. Now, let's move on to filters. As you can see here, just with Ryanair, they've got 53,000 mentions collected this month. So it's important that we give each and every client the ability to break these mentions down in the way that they seem most important. So the first filters you can see here are by channel. So you're able to break it down by exactly where the mention came from, such as Facebook, Twitter, news articles, videos, and so forth. And then along the right hand side, we're going to allow you to filter the mention based on some mention statistics. So for example, you can see just negative or just positive just by clicking that it's going to move over and you see that the numbers on the left will change to find just negative comments. 
We have a spam filter that you can use also. You can filter by the most influential people on a scale of 1 to 10, which I'll go through a little bit later. Uh, and then here we have various other filters such as uh, the amount of interaction. So you may only want to see mentions that have more than 10 likes. Uh, the number of visits that a website has, you can filter by the domain, so where the mention actually has come from, the author, and by what tag or group you gave the mention like we showed you before. When you've created a filter that you find most valuable, I highly recommend saving this as a filter so you can revisit it next time here by clicking Save Current Filter. Here we'll give this one uh, a name, Ryan. Uh, negative for our negative sentiment filter and save then each time you log into your account your Ryanair negative uh, filter will be saved here so just one click and you'll be taken straight to it also another great additional feature here is that you can have this sent to you as an email so basically whenever any mail any mentioned criteria matches your filter uh, brand 24 will mail you with the mentions included so I'm gonna add this here create new alert and those will go straight to my inbox really important to collect those now I've shown you how to find the most accurate data let me show you how you can actually export that out of brand 24 here we have three different options for export the most simple one is here which is infographic when you click infographic what we do is we present you the data from your filter in a very simplistic format. A lot of our customers use this for snapshots. They take screenshots and share it around the team. You can see a lot of information from inside Brand24, but in a very simple format. After infographic, the next option we have here, which is PDF report. When we click PDF report, this is going to give us the same kind of data, but in a much more detailed, much more even professional manner. The first thing you can see here that you're able to actually add comments. So I can put in here Ryanair test report. I can choose the color and I can upload my own logo. Let me show you how that's going to look. Here inside the PDF, you can start to see the data. So first we have the title of the report and the date and the time frame. Here prepared by is where you can upload your own logo. And inside you can see a much more detailed analysis. So we start to show more in detail the, the sources of the information, uh, the sentiment, the intensity and so on. And furthermore here you can see that we actually include a number of the actual mentions from the project, where the mentions are coming from. And here is where, as you saw before, you can include your analysis or notes uh, or anything of that kind that will be included into the PDF. And lastly, our option is also to export data into an Excel or CSV format. Um, let me show you how this looks like. So here you can see we take every piece of data from inside the Brand24 account and we export it into an Excel. This can then be used to import into something like a CRM system, or maybe your team will use the Excel to do some more detailed business uh, analytics or analysis. We have much more in-depth tutorials available for all aspects of our mentions tab here that you can find in our dashboard. But now I want to take you to our analysis section. This is where we take all the data from mentions and we try to present it to you in the most valuable way. We know that actually going through 50,000 mentions is really time consuming. So our goal is to try to give you the most effective information as quickly as possible. Now the first thing you notice when you enter our analysis section are mentions. What we do here is we try to serve you with the most influential and valuable mentions within your project. Here firstly we show you the most interactive mentions. These are mentions with the most likes, comments and shares. This means that the audience was really engaged and it's really important for you to know which ones they are. Otherwise you can also click here and see the most popular authors. So these authors may have only mentioned you one time, but they have a huge following. For example, The Economist or The Wall Street Journal. It's really important to know if your brand was mentioned by someone that was really influential so that you can react. Here on the right, 
we provide you with all the major KPIs from your social campaign, such as number of results, social reach, number of likes, and positive and negative mentions, to name a few. As we scroll down, you'll see on the right hand side that we also tell you the percentage of positive and negative mentions. So here, of course, we always want to see that a company has more green than they do red. And furthermore, as we go down, the next station that you're going to find is where your mentions are taking place. This is really valuable information. So here we can see that over 75% of Ryanair's mentions take place on Twitter. From a brand point of view, there's a number of things you can do with this. First of all, it means it might be where you actually push your team, your customer service to actually maintain your customer activity on that channel. But you might also see it as a market opportunity of where you should spend your marketing and advertising budget as you know that's where your actual audience is hanging out. Furthermore, as we demonstrated before, on the left hand side here we're going to give you the most influential social media authors. So we will tell you the influence in terms of how many followers and, and how much influence they have online. But also we're going to show you the share of voice. Share of voice is if we take all your mentions and they tally up to 100%, of what influence of that 100% was the mention from The Economist? On the right hand side, here we're going to show you the most active social media authors. What this means is they may not be so influential, but it's how many times they've actually mentioned your keyword online. So here we can see that David has mentioned Ryanair in the last 30 days over 3,000 times. It's most likely that David's Twitter account is something automated and that's important for your team to know as they may want to disclude those 3,000 mentions. And finally, as we go down, you see the most active sites. So non-social media sites, which obviously are very important. Here we can see that moneysavingexpert.com that has over 6 million visits per month is mentioned in Ryanair. And also here we have context of discussion which is when we try to collate every other word associated with your keyword. This way we can try to isolate uh, PR incidents, we can try to find out what topics are hot around your brand at any given time. Okay, let's go up and see what other options we have available within our project. Here first we have sources. What we do here is we take all of the authors that have mentioned your keyword and we give you the ability to order them in any way you see fit. So firstly for example we can click here on results and the system will rank your authors based on how many times they mentioned you. And just like with any system if you click on it again it's going to rank them in alternative order so you can go from largest to smallest or smallest to largest and you can do this across the board including their reach their influence and their influencer score this is really important because different campaigns and different departments within each company have different goals from using social monitoring uh, and again of course here you can change the time frame next up we have our quotes tab Inside our quotes tab, we use this in order for a lot, very popular for PR departments, when you really want to try to find snippets uh, of quotes by your consumers or anyone mentioning your keyword that you can use possibly for marketing materials or to provide to other customers to give them more trust in your brand. Here you can simply click, for example, on positive or negative and we'll display you all the mentions that fall under those criteria so that you can see them in a very visual environment. And lastly for today's quick tutorial is our comparison tab. Here this gives you the ability to track, to compare various brands against one another. So first of all, I have obviously have my Ryanair project inside and I want to compare Ryanair to a different brand. So I'm going to compare them to Wizz Air, which is a competing European airline. As a brand, a brand manager, or a marketing manager, now I'm really able to see just how much of a market penetration we have compared to the competition. So here, for example, we can see that Wizz Air has 7,000 mentions per month, where Ryanair has 53,000. We can see that Ryanair is currently trading at 57% positive versus Wizz Air that has just 38% positive. 
this is really valuable data from both sides. So if I'm a wizard, a marketing manager, a PR manager, I'm really going to be able to see just how much we can expand into the market and the areas that we are most weakest in. So for example, here we can see that Wizz are just 45% present of their presence is on Twitter. Uh, and that's so possibly a reason why they could improve or change the way that they market. So that's all for our brief tutorial today on how to use Brand24 effectively. I really appreciate your attention and I hope that this is the first step into you getting the most from your Brand24 account. If you have any other questions, you can visit our knowledge base that has video tutorials that are much more in depth on some of those key features or alternatively just click down here and one of our team members will be happy to help you via our live chat solution. Thanks so much for your time and have a great day.